All right, another K vehicle I got in my haul. This is a Daihatsu Mira van. It's the walkthrough version. So this is a good 360 around. This one has the foldy school bus doors in the back. And the, of course, the standard foldy school bus door to get into it. This is how you get into it. Grab the handle, push that in, open it up. This particular one was something my wife wanted and it is fantastic. I am very happy with this one. Buying stuff from auctions, you know, if you're not familiar already, it is questionable, but this one came out very well. This one has like these fancy speakers on the floor for some reason there, speakers up here, speakers up there. This one's got the uh, in-dash nav screen. This one also has the foldy chair. You just kind of fold it down, put it up, and it gives you like this bungee cord to hook it there. There's no window for this one, no window on either side, of course. You can step in here and take a look. It is a decent sized space back here. I can't stand upright, I am 5'10". Uh, the, I've seen different modifications to the floor here. Sometimes these have a raised floor, so you have like a perfectly good flat floor all the way around and it covers up the wheel well, so it's flat here too. Some of them just drop straight down so you get even like more flat, but you'll have bigger wheel well lumps. And then some have different modifications. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. Like you can mount brackets, shelves, um, I don't know, whatever you want. <laughs> the uh, prior owner has a rod back here. It has some wires too. I wonder what these were for. Maybe they were for speakers or something because there's all those speakers up there, but maybe it was for hanging stuff. I have no idea. This I'm curious what this van used to do in its prior life. Uh, the doors back here do open, but for some reason, but for some reason, this key doesn't open it. So I'm kind of screwed and it is locked. I'm hoping a locksmith can actually like make a key out of this or something or change the cylinder. I don't know. I don't know yet. Uh, over here, the key does work for this. You can see that unlocks and locks the door like it's supposed to. And then I think over here, I believe this one is screwed too. Yeah, this one, it doesn't work. So, coming in here, apparently this is how you lock the door and this is how you unlock the door. Thanks for showing me that trick, Vic. So um, I left my white van. I actually bought two of these things and I left it over, it was stranded in New York at his house for a little bit. Um, and he showed me that door trick. But unfortunately, the back lock does not have anything like that. It may be hidden in this uh, this metal thing. I'm going to take this shroud off just to see it because like, it obviously blocks everything. Anyways, because I can open the door from in here. When you pull on this latch, it kind of unlatches it from those thingies. And it allows me to open the door. The doors are really tight in here. Oh, there we go. So there's that. Slides open, slides open very well, very smooth. You pull this little lever up, and that opens this side one. It opens up pretty far. And this is what it looks like from outside. It's just a good walk through van, like the name says. So closing this, oh wait, actually, what's under here? Mm, all right, I got a spare tire, a jack. Ooh, Falcon tire, look at that. So that goes in here, it's just kind of, Closes the floor up. Okay. Uh, closing the door is a little tricky. Um, this needs to go first, but not first in the sense of closing it all the way. These rubber seals are really tight. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Ooh, is this a backup cam? Yo! There's a backup cam! I'm looking at what this was with the duct tape. I wonder if that still works. I gotta check that out. All right, so this closes like that, but it's not gonna work because you gotta pull the lever while you close it. But I can't do that either because this, uh, you know what? Let's try it, let's try it. We'll find out together. So this, yeah, this presses up against it and it really does not wanna close. Oh, I need to go inside and pull the lever. Alright, that that key needs to be unlocked. This is a huge inconvenience, but alright. Okay, I guess you could close it. 
that worked all right. And just make sure it latches and stuff. Oh, there's some hole here. Was there a hole there before? Oh, maybe. Was that how that was? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I just, I don't know. All right, well, I'll get that figured out. <laughs> Anyways, oh, boy. This is the seat that came with this. It is reclinable. Oh no, no, it isn't. It isn't reclinable. Uh, what is this? What does this do? Oh, okay, okay, all right. So this folds the seat forward on the slider, but this makes it recline and whatnot. All right, anyways, let's sit down and give this a go. That's how you close the door. Key goes in here, and then, uh, let's see. I want my seat a little bit more forward. How do you do that? There's a lever on this side. All right, now I'm too far forward. All right, this is satisfactory. I think I'm good here, but start it up. Cold start. Ah. What does it think we are? What part of Japan is this? Oh, it's a touch screen, nice. Oh, it's like Tokyo, isn't that, isn't that Tokyo? And that's Tokyo Bay? I don't know how to zoom out. How do you zoom out? All right, I don't know. I don't know anything. All right, uh, there are cup holders on this guy. These are those fold away ones. You press the button, it pops open. There's two of them. There's one over here too. Boop. I don't think these are factory accessories. They just look like they got self-tapping screws in here. Uh, the cigarette lighter, you get the ashtray, and some questionable looking things. Uh, oh, it looks like black cigarettes. Get some black cigarettes in the ashtray, great. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, I want to see if the AC works. Uh, it's in AC, oh, there's like an eco mode, AC. Hey, it blows cold. That means the AC works, right? That's good. And you can hear the compressor kick on and the engine kind of having to idle up for it. You get a crank window, one humongous crank window. Oh man, this is, <laughs> I love this thing. This thing's all kinds of fun right now. It's so entertaining just to go through this. Does this work? Ooh, the dome light works, cool. All right, uh, does this work? Ooh, that works too. Cool, everything seems to work. Uh, this thing is like a fresh air vent from outside. You pull it down, it flips like this little front thing up. Let me show you that real quick while this warms up. Yeah, there, there, there's the front scoop intake. There is also this rear exhaust scoop, I think, but it is currently sealed up with this like corrugated um, plastic stuff, whatever it is. So I learned closing the door is difficult. I can show you this better outside. This is a really big door and there's only one latch right there. So when you close it, it never, it almost never catches properly. So you either have to give it a bunch of help right there so it latches, but it's a different story when you're inside. I think you just have to slam the door. There you go. Um, I mean, it is what it is. That's how you close the door. So, all right, let's give this a drive. We'll just drive around the block. It's a three-speed automatic. I have no idea how fast this thing can go. Um, I'll test it when I get it registered. Just like any automatic car, you shift it into drive and you go for a world. It's got a five-digit odometer at 33,000 kilometers. I have no idea. I'm sure this is a, I'm sure this has gone over hundred thousand kilometers but it looks to be such good shape it might not have actually gone that far so let's go for a little whirl around the block there's no power steering it's not too bad though seems reasonable to drive 
Oh, it's such a smooth riding car. You can see those double mirrors back there so you can see what's going on. You get this big mirror over here too and you get a big rear mirror that doesn't really help. Uh, well, it kind of helps a little bit. All right, so going out here, going around the block a little bit, down the street maybe. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got a runny nose. All right, let's go this way. Well, that air vent up there is really working very well. I don't want that. I'm going to close that. Oh, random car reversing. Let's go through some bumpy streets around the neighborhood here and see how that goes. Alright, we're going to go down a little bumpy road real quick. I got to go home. I got a phone call. Very smooth. This handles it very well. Stop. This way. It is not fast though. <laughs> this van is all kinds of fun, but fast is not a thing. It's a it's a three cylinder Daihatsu. I think it's an EF motor. It's carbureted. It's a three-speed auto. This is not. <laughs> this thing is not fast. Um, it it moves its own weight pretty well, and, and plus me, of course. But let's go down this bumpy part of the roads here. See what that's like on the suspension. What the ride's like. I mean, I have no reference of what this is supposed to feel like. It rides a hell of a lot smoother than my Suzuki Cara, the AutoZam AZ1. It rides smoother than a Suzuki Cappuccino, a stock Cappuccino at least. And uh, I don't know, it's pretty good. It handles the bumps very well for these tiny little like 12 inch tires that it has. Uh, stop sign, off I go again. This is foot to the floor. My acceleration is not good. <laughs> not in like first gear, I think. I don't know if that's just because it's a four, three speed slush box though. But it gets the job done. You get to go wherever you need to go. We'll do some more stuff later because I got to go home and do some stuff right now. Okay, looking under the hood here, everything looks pretty clean. Um, I'm looking for stuff like a timing belt sticker or something. I don't see one. I'll probably look around some more somewhere else. All right, there you can see it's an LV500. Um, there's a sticker of some sort of maintenance over there. I don't know what that is. I'll translate it after, but everything looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. The strut towers are good. Uh, the belts look pretty new. That alternator looks new. That looks like it's been replaced before. Uh, I don't see a timing belt sticker, like I said. The Oh, there's the oil filter. That's a inconvenient spot for one. How do you, how do you get at that? Like this? Like through here? That's terrible. Oh, there's also a hole here. Yeah, that oil, that's a straight shot to the oil filter. Okay, I guess, I guess this is viable. I wonder if that's what that hole's for. Uh, everything else looks uh, pretty much decent up here. Battery, that's tight, that's good. Check the terminals, because all the other things are loose. Nah, that's fine. Let's look under the air cleaner. Three, four, I should go buy some of the stuff from Japan. What is this? Is this like the screw that holds it down? This one's cracked. It's a little dirty. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What's it look like under here? No, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Probably buy some new ones to have for spares. Pretty easy to do right here. Just kind of clip this back on. If I can get it back up there. Yeah, there we go. What's the point of all the clips if you have a whole screw that holds extra sealing, I guess? Put that back. Tank looks like coolant is partially full. I did see a drip coming from somewhere over here onto the ground before. But uh, I don't see it anymore, so it's not dripping anymore. It dripped on the trailer, and that's, that's what hinted me off on it. 
but I don't see anything. It's not overheating. It's not doing anything. I checked the oil on this. It's not as clean as the cappuccino, but I might want to do like some services and stuff before my wife takes it to go do stuff. Just taking a look around some more. I don't know what that round thing is. Let's take a closer look at this fan here and it's paint. It definitely has been repainted. They did a decent job. I think it's starting to show his age. Some of the taping was not so good. You can see like the white showing through, but it is what it is. It's pretty old. Uh, you can kind of see right here, just that like these random seams where there's some white. Maybe I should get some touch-up paint to kind of fix this. It's like this baby blue color. I like it, I like it. In two-tone with the gray, gray roof, the gray windshield surround, and the gray front part here. Looks pretty good, I like it, I like it. It's a good um, choice of colors. Oh, even the attention to detail here. Door handle, mirrors and stuff are gray, just like this stuff, the little vent thing is also gray. The accent pieces, the gray accent, license plate, light thing. The hinges are gray. All right, I actually want to see if this reverse camera works or not. Speakers work pretty well. I like them. I like them. They're good. Uh, now, camera, reverse camera. Do I just go into reverse? Oh my God, the camera's there. Hold on. What am I looking at? Oh, that's literally straight down at the ground. Uh, uh, I don't think I have anything behind me. Nope. Alright. Oh, there's that patch of driveway. Oh my god, the camera works. <laughs> this is great. Hold on. Let me get closer. It is a mirror image. You can see my AutoZam plate. Let me get this close. Yeah. That's great. That's awesome. That's, I like that. <laughs> okay, driving this thing around, tons of fun. One issue I see with this particular mirror, the white one that I have uh, has a window there on both sides, and that allows you to see outside, but on this particular one, there is no window. So this is a giant wall where you cannot see anything. I mean, you can see stuff straight out here through this thing, but that, nothing. So you will have to rely on those mirrors to see where you're going. Uh, at least on this side, you could just look straight out and you'll never need to really look backwards this way anyways. So, they, I mean, this is the only downside that I see here. One other thing that we're going to have to probably figure out is that there's no seat belts or anything on this seat. Uh, I mean, I guess theoretically then you don't need to be in a, like wearing your seat belts, right? Or something. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But if you sit right here. And just, oh, you, oh yeah, that's what this handle's for. You kind of just sit and hold on for dear life. <laughs> um, I don't know, this is pretty cool. It's a cool little spot. So we want to actually bring, like, my kid to the random places here. Um, we would need to figure out some way of strapping him in. I don't know. I don't know yet. Maybe it's not viable to do it in here. We could probably salvage some seatbelt from somewhere and anchor it to the frame find a spot on the right here I think this panel could probably come out and like find a spot to put it here um, that way we have like a regular strap for him um, that way he won't go flying or try to leave his seat and wander around I don't know this uh this will be a fun project this will be a fun little project my wife wants this van I mean it, it's her van technically so so she's gonna drive this to work and do whatever she's gonna do with it and it's just adorable how could you not want one of these that's it for now I'm going to get all these cars under my lift to kind of like inspect underneath too. Um, this one was very clean. I'll show you guys that up close soon. If you guys want to see anything in particular for this Daihatsu Mira walkthrough van, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for all the random K car shenanigans or whatever. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. But subscribe for stuff if you're not subscribed already and I will be posting more videos. Now that I actually have more cars to do content on, I think I will be doing like more videos like i don't know how i don't know i don't know there'll be shorter type videos where i kind of just show you something uh rather than like the the regular format i've been doing every week where it's like one particular project chunks at a time um but maybe it just kind of evolves into that too I, I don't know i don't i'm very busy right now with work and and i don't have time to fiddle around with stuff because you know it's either late at night or or you know it's raining it kind of makes things difficult